you got to do a camera? Yeah. All right, so this uh, amigo got me on a different camera now. So now I'm going to show you this is what we do. We're going to Selma, in the grave. Are they Thompson? These are red flames. Do they grow red flames around over here? Yeah, they grow red flames all around here. So what you got to do is, you know, over here in a case like this, you got to learn how to paint top at the same time. Because uh, when you do a mural, a lot of times people come up and they talk to you, you know, so. You have to learn to go like this, draw your circle, and then uh, knowing that you've got your pattern going, Spring. See, it's, it clogged up on me a little bit because it's so hot. Right. What I gotta do is I gotta get my gun, give it a little backsplash, clear out that nozzle. Now you'll see a big difference. Right, nice. That's how hot it is over here. Right now it's like a. It's not too bad. I guess it's in the 90s, but it's gonna hit 100. And, I think 102 or 3 today. Feels like a hundred already. And then sometimes, you know, you gotta switch hands, you know. If I was slick, I would be like Ramiro and use two puetes <laughs> and paint them at the same time. But I don't have my two guns with me right now. I better get away from the machine. It's pretty loud. We just got a shot of uh, Francisco doing the red flame grapes over there. And uh, he's continuing on. He's got a very nice base color going on. Uh, so that, you know, when he starts working his highs and his lows and stuff like that, it, um, it, uh, it already has that, that neutral um, middle tone in there. Um, what I'm working on right now is, uh, Ernie had asked me last, uh, yesterday, um, if I could start sharing the colors a bit and that's what I did yesterday and today I'm continuing on I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about you see those uh, figures up there they're uh, the, the Chinese railroad workers on the bottom of them I'm pulling up a little bit of the yellow from the ground so that uh, the yellow moves a little bit up not too much yellow just a little bit hints, hints, hints of here and there uh, I uh, got some of this uh, sort of pinkish purple and I dragged it from the Fresno scraper on up the leg right there up to the shoulder off to the side of his hat and continued it on into the into the uh, the schoolhouse right there now the schoolhouse Ernie said he wanted to make it a little bit more ghosty ghostly uh, a little bit more uh, like uh, vapor vaporized like it's a it's a memory it's not the real thing these are memories, these are things that had happened in the past and so on. That's why he had all the workers and everything to be going up to the sky. So uh, I'm going to go around and do a little bit of that all day today. Move around the whole mural because we're putting it all together now. Okay, I'm... Uh practically done with the end of the day. I don't know if we're going home yet, but um, I worked on the uh, Fresno scraper today and put all the little parts in it. It's missing some nuts and bolts and stuff like that, but I talked to Ernie about it. He says that stuff is irrelevant, but uh, I'll probably put one or two in the right places. Did the chains and, uh, and the wood beam that goes across. I'll show you right now as we, we uh, come up close to it. There's some uh, quirky stuff I did right here, like this chain where it meets the metal part right there. Um, it's going, it's going, um, it's in the wrong place, so I'll have to fix that. I just didn't, couldn't see it right when I was doing it. And then also too, there's a split in the metal. It doesn't actually go like that, but it splits like that. I imagine that they probably made one like that. This is. Uh, the other side where the chain is. So that's the Fresno scraper. That's a big historical first earth mover right there.
It was pulled by the two mules. And uh, that basically would cut out all the um, cut out all the canals and the ditches and everything to run uh, water from the Kings to Selma. Okay, here's a pan of the entire mural. Uh, I got the sun here, but uh, to show you all the different movements and all the different colors that are in this now. There's a. Uh, Plenty of colors going on over there where the grapes are. Francisco did the um, the large red flame grapes right there. These are uh, they. Uh, Selma is uh, considered the raisin capital, I think, of the state. But uh, they grow those red flames and the green ones right there. Those are Thompsons. So they're very proud of uh, grapes. There's farm workers picking nice how they go up to the sky like that and then uh, I brought in some of the blues uh, from the sky went right through the mules and uh, comes down and kind of hits the, the canal right there that canal looks like it was dug out by a scraper and uh, the mules got it got two light sources on them there um, one is a reflection of the water and the sky and the other light source is <laughs> is the uh, reflection of the uh, of that purple up there in the uh, in the clouds right there see I brought some purple right through the schoolyard and uh, so I got that purple and I kind of like aim to uh, to show the reflection of that purple on the on on the left side of the animals on the right side there's blue you could see it right there let's see let's get a little bit closer you see right there blue kind of goes up. I still have yet to put a little bit more blue in there, but it's kind of hard to figure out where they're going. Where where it would be reflecting that. I know there's a logic to it. Uh, same thing with the uh, with the homeboy right there. Uh, he's I know he's got all blue, but really his pants are full of colors. There's all kinds of purples in there. And uh, there's a few yellows and oranges in his shirt right there. You see? how scuffed it looks, you know, he's been out in the heat of the summer heat of the valley. And, uh, of course, there's a scraper right there. I'm quite proud of that. Yeah, that uh, came out pretty nice. You know, you, you, uh, you could, you aim to do it right, but, you know, at the end, it's just all about expression. There's the, the area of where he scraped right there, and it's sort of just dwindles off into the uh, Chinese railroad workers. And there we have all that. God, uh, that's beautiful right there. I really like that area. I like it because I did it. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, I, I like this area too. I want to ch work on this area right here. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow because we do have to close this up at some point. But Ernie did mention something about um, did mention something about about sharing colors like over there i think we got to get some of that yellow and put it into the sky